Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. It is super early here, and when I say super early, it is 6.18 in the morning. Braylon has her second volleyball tournament this weekend. <laughs> She is super excited. She couldn't get herself settled last night. So she's feeling pretty exhausted this morning. She did not go to bed until almost midnight. We have about an hour and 40 minute drive. So hopefully she can sleep on the way up there. Braylon is doing bubble braids right now in her hair and getting her pre-wrap on. So they're wearing different jerseys than they did last time. So they are like tank tops. So it's black on black. Black and on black. I have white knee pads and white arm sleeves. So it looks really good. I need to finish packing. I need to get waters and her water bottle. I'm gonna take some fruit and just some snacks and stuff to take because last time we were there, we were there from 8 a.m. till like five in the evening. So it ended up being a really long day. So I need to go down and get all that stuff packed up and then we need to be out the door in 15 minutes. I'm gonna do some cut up strawberries, some cut up apples, some cut up orange slices some um new star wars goldfish braylon is on a nutella kick right now so i'm packing that for her strawberries some fruit snacks some cheese sticks my favorite favorite ever popcorn chips some sun chips braylon what do you have there biosteel biosteel gatorade flowers nope go ahead and put that in there and then we have some muffins to eat on the way there for breakfast ready to rock and roll we do need to go we have to leave right this minute braylon has her muffin already buttered and ready to go she's going to eat it on the way and then you need to get some sleep They have us parking in a totally different spot than we did last time. So we have to walk a pretty far distance to get where we need to go. We got here about 10 minutes later than we were supposed to. So we are trying to rush to get inside this building. And of course we have to walk so far.
we are finally home. It has been a long, exhausting day. First game started at nine. Girls won one set out of three. They then had a second game. Girls won both sets. They then had a third game. Girls lost both sets. In the last set of the third game, Braylon rolled slash sprained her ankle. I try to film as much as I can of her playing, but obviously I can't film every single play or I would just have so much footage. And of course I was not filming at this time, but a girl had set the ball over to Braylon. Braylon went to spike, hit, whatever you want to call it. And her and another girl kind of got tangled up. Braylon stepped on the other girl's foot, which then kind of like twisted her ankle and she came down on it. She was hurting pretty bad. She was crying. Um, she couldn't get up for a little while. She did like wobble off to the side of the court. I went and got an athletic trainer. They brought over some ice, did just like a quick look at the ankle, did a couple things to it. They definitely think that it's either sprained or just rolled it really bad. It's not broken or fractured or anything like that. The girls did have a fourth game that they did play. We did stick around just to cheer on her teammates and the girls did end up winning both of those games. So that was pretty good. Braylon is having a really hard time walking on that ankle. It is the same ankle that she has sprained twice prior. Uh, the first time she was really young, I'm gonna say she was probably like seven or eight. Her and Brianna were messing around. Brianna turned the lights off on her and she slipped and fell down our steps. Then um, last year during soccer, she sprained it. I'm pretty sure there's a vlog about that um, here on our YouTube channel. And so this is gonna be the third time, same ankle. So of course, the more times you sprain it, weaker the ankle becomes which means we might have to start looking into some physical therapy on that ankle. She's definitely going to have to wear a brace more often than not when she's playing basketball, volleyball, soccer. She's just really going to have to watch what she's doing with that ankle. The girls did not get a first or second place win today. Braylon is currently in the shower slash tub trying to just soak that ankle, um, trying to make that feel a little bit better. And then I will have her talk to you guys when she gets out about how she's feeling. So I just got out of the shower and my foot hurts like really, really bad. So I think I'm gonna go to urgent care tomorrow and get an x-ray to see what's wrong. But I'm gonna give you guys a haul of what I got from last night. First from Target. I have not gotten a Squishmallow in a long time, but I got this Squishmallow and he's really cute. Look at this, Oh. Jason, that's the Squishmallow's name. I think it's like, I don't know, I think it's a cow. Super cute. And when I saw it, I was like, I gotta get that. Now from TJ Maxx, I got the Too Faced lip injection stuff. I'm so happy that I found this there. The a Morphe 2 blush, and um, I have one of these already, but a different shade, and I use it a lot, but I don't really like the shade that much of the one I have now. But I got this one. It's like an orangish one. I never had an orange blush, so I was like, I gotta get this. I got a new eyelash separator because mine broke. Next, I got this makeup remover that literally comes with this little pump. And the reason why I got this is because the ones I used to have broke, so it doesn't pump anymore. And the last thing, I just got new sports balls because um, I play a lot of sports and I always need new ones. So that is my haul. I'm so tired. I'm ready to go to bed. We had to get up so early this morning. So I'm going to get like ready for bed and I'll see you guys in the next video.